everyone so as you can see I got my uh, I guess well, how would you say it uh, Hudson Blitz I guess that's how it's said um, got this here in and uh, not bad not bad I haven't uh, fired it I'm going through it um, it was uh, <laughs> it was a little bit of a mess when I got it so um, let me show you, or I can show and tell you what I've done to it so far. Let's go with uh, telling, all right? So in here, when you take off the stock, there's a metal plate right there with two screws, a, uh, a rectangle shaped plate. You take that off and it was packed with grease. Now I'm thinking, all right, why would they pack it with so much grease when uh, just about every video I've seen, you're not supposed to use no grease. You're supposed to use a thin oil. So I got this here. It is a 100% silicone oil. You use it with Airsoft and blah, blah, blah. So replaced it with that, you know, so now works pretty good i'm still I, I hear this little hear that i don't know if you could hear it or not see how it catches it bounces all right so got to work on that i think it has something to do with the oil maybe the oil is too thin because it does say uh airsoft but i'm going to be checking that out here in a little bit um, it's, uh, supposed to be, uh, used for, uh, airsoft and, uh, uh, other air guns, you know, but I'm thinking that maybe it's airsoft specific. Um, it does, uh, let's see here. It does hold up, uh, as far as, um, the heat on it, you know, I think it's, um, yeah, there we are. Hold uh, 150 uh, Fahrenheit. So I'm thinking, well, not bad, but I don't think it's uh, specifically for this type. I mean, I'm not using it in the barrel, which reminds me, talk about the barrel. Wait, hold on. Let's finish this up. So then I took off this plate here and that was jam packed with grease as well. Pretty darn thick. I mean, that was some thick, nasty stuff. I mean, I had to use WD-40 on a rag, not directly on this, but on a rag and kind of work it, you know, cause it's so thick. I was like, there's no way in hell this thing's gonna cycle correctly with something that thick, all right? Now moving on to the barrel. So got to the barrel and I use what's called a worm. Uh, there we are, this here, a uh, uh, patch worm. So I use that to clean it out, believe me. <laughs> it kind of made me nervous, a bit nervous. All right, because um, when you take this off, you have to look down the barrel because there is a ring part right about here, somewhere right about here, where the spring sets in. And then uh, it's like a, how would I explain it? Almost like um, like almost like a washer, it, it, uh, just a little space, you know, that has a washer in there. It's just the weirdest damn thing. So you kind of have to feed it through here through that little uh, circle piece, through here, and you kind of have to work it a little bit, you know, uh, to get it into the barrel. So, and as you see, this here is has that curve into it. So you kind of have to straighten it out a bit. So got that part done. Uh, fed it through over and over cleaned it out it had a, a had a lot of rust in there a lot of dirt it's really nasty same thing with this here had a lot of dirt in there it, it's like not dirt but uh almost like paint it was black 
whatever it was, it was, it was goopy, nasty, black crap. And I was like, oh no, I, that, that will not do. <laughs> then the pressure gauge under here, let me go ahead and tilt it. You can see it there. So what I did was I aired it up and here's my little problem that I was having. Uh, this here was only airing up to 150 bar. Now, when I uh, hear when it gets down to a, a uh, down to 100 bar, you should start filling it back up again. Uh, this here is, was the gauge was only showing uh, that it was airing up to 150 bar, but on on this here, I still have it set in the same spot. Uh, for the most part, Let's see, take a look. It's kind of hard to see it on camera properly, but let me try to move it to where the camera is directly on top. That's it's supposed to air up to the 250 bar, and I and that that is working correctly because I aired up this one works correctly I aired up that one it works correctly i air up this one and it's showing that's all airing up to half of what it's supposed to 150 bar versus 250 bar so it's only airing up to half no leaks i went through it i checked everything for leaks no leaks i come to the conclusion that it is the pressure gauge is not correct well i would like to change out that pressure gauge anyhow so i found another pressure gauge and i will show it uh probably over here yeah somewhere right there that's that that there is what i plan to get so um it's about eh, roughly about 100 bucks you know so i plan to get that um it should work on this pretty good. Um, however, that little space in here, where the, uh, that little space there, see how much uh, room I have? Now that, that uh, this pressure gauge here is uh, not very big. It's like super tiny. The other one's a little bit bigger. So when I took off the stock, I was like, well, would I be able to use it if I kind of bored it out a little bit, you know, kind of enlarged it? And there, and that is very possible. I took a look to see how much meat I have on either side of the stock, and yeah, that's very possible. I can I can actually do that if I need to. And I'm not bad at doing stuff like that. Um, as far as the scoop. This one here is not bad. So that's about a hundred and something dollars scope. It's not great. It's not great. I'll, I'll guarantee you that. But it's not bad either. Um, I did get this scope mount ring in today. Now here's another thing about this. Uh, using a small scope like this with the original uh, rings that it comes with, which uh, let me get in this here, using these rings, can do that, you know, because these here will hit, all right? So you have to use a taller uh, scope mount uh, ring. So I tried to use in this here, did not work, because um, it set it too far forward or too far back and uh, see those little notches there those two right there they'll fit in one groove on here this one here you only have one position and then back here you could put it anywhere here however here's another problem the distance on here and here you ain't got much room to work with 
at all, period. You don't have much room to work with. This here would have to be set all the way back here. Uh, here's another problem. The other one would have to be set back here, but they're not reversible though. Because if you try to reverse it, one face in this way, one face in that way, set your, your scope all crooked and crap. So um, I had a feeling that would happen. So I went ahead and uh, ordered uh, another uh, pair of scope rings. Unfortunately, they'll be here tomorrow. And then I'll put those on and I will show those ones uh, up right about there. And that's the one I plan to get. Well, well the one that I am getting tomorrow. Um, I ordered them the same day. One's coming a little bit later than the other. It's all right. It's all good. So um, I did get the um, uh, adapter. I could run the Donnie FL on here. Um, but I'm not doing that. Um, what I am doing is this here now this here was all black and i sanded it down gave it a nice finish bored out the inside to 15 millimeters so that's a 15 millimeter bore um this uh uh mount here that is um believe it's the uh i would need it's 18 millimeter diameter but um i will bore this out to a 17. so um i got the uh, drill bit coming for it 17 millimeter drill bit as well as a uh eight uh the, yeah 18 millimeter tap so 17 millimeter bore 18 millimeter tap that matches this thread on here and then I will put this on and I figured that'll do now it's not going to make it any quieter hell no it ain't going to make it quiet at all but at the same time that's okay because later if I want to and I probably will I will get a Donny FL suppressor just like I have on my uh FX Impact M3. I it, I have the the small Donny FL uh, suppressor on that one. So if I want to, I can get a nice one, put it on there. And, but for now, yeah, this here, this here, yeah. And and it kind of matches. I mean, there ain't much silver on here, but I figured I don't care. It, it'll I don't want it to blend in too much, but I don't want it to be all silver either and Throw it off this here gives just enough Just enough of a look To where it's real nice And uh, it's noticeable I figured eh, why not? <laughs> so I like doing uh, machining work. I'm not great at it, but uh, as you guys seen my other videos, what I do, it works. So, <laughs> uh, and there's a lot of stuff that I've done that don't work, you know, but I usually get frustrated and toss it out. <laughs> so there we go, guys. Um, let's see. And no, the video does not end here. But I will uh, pick up again in just a minute when I get uh, the scope mount rings in. Uh, the uh, pressure gauge, I will probably uh, do another video on that, perhaps. That would make the video a little bit too long. Uh, possibly, maybe, I don't know. But still, I'm going to probably do a separate video on that at another time. Um, I do, I don't know, I think I showed it on one of my videos. I do have two of these. So, got two of those. 
So yeah, uh, having um, taller scope mount rings, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I didn't uh, wind those, uh, like take them apart and give it an extra wind. I figured, you know, and I'm just going to leave it like that for now, see what it does. If, if it uh, doesn't cycle correctly, then I can give it an extra wind. But first I'm gonna test it and see. <coughs> and uh, go from there. Um, I will probably be changing out a little bit of the oil on here. Um, it's not supposed to be thick. That that much I know. Not supposed to be thick. It's supposed to be thin. Um, I'm not so sure about that oil, but uh, um, I will be using a, an air gun oil on it. Uh, I'll have to do a little bit more checking because I know that some people don't use exact air gun oil on these. Uh, I've seen people use uh, some kind of a motor oil. It's like a full synthetic, you know, uh, oil on them. And I'm like, eh, I don't know about that because of the seals in it. You know, I mean, sure, it's full synthetic, but... Um, some of the uh, chemicals in the oil can cause seals to break down and fail. So I'm, I'm being real careful on what I choose to use on this so that uh, it doesn't eat away at the, at the seals on it. Um, I keep on noticing, hold on, down here I have this little lever and I keep noticing it's driving me nuts. but. Um, the gun was not straight up and down, and, and it was literally driving me up the wall. Let's see. All right, tell me what you guys think. I think it's a little, now I got a little more cockeyed on that way. I think it's right out. <laughs> Let me just tilt it a little over. Oop, there we go. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, that's better. That's much better. Okay, now I'm happy. <laughs> a little bit. I'm not a perfectionist by all means. I am not a perfectionist, but um, I know how this is supposed to be, and if it isn't how it's supposed to be, then I'm like, you know. I'm sure there's a lot of, a lot of you guys out there that are like that. Um, I noticed there's, there's this one video this one guy got one of these and uh, the spring set in into the adapter instead of uh, the, the piece sticking out. Um, let me show you here. All right, let's go. There we go. So his kind of uh, sunk in, you know, uh, his new one is sunk in instead of it pressuring over this. I took a look at that a little bit more and uh he's using the wrong one i i should have commented or maybe someone else already did but i mean it's it's for the hatsman uh but i'm not sh uh hat, hat hatson hatson whatever it's for this gun but not this exact gun you know because his set in on his uh, new adapter and uh if you get an adapter Make sure that it has this lip. Mine does. I made sure of that. I made sure that it is exactly for this exact gun. Because some will sit in and that's not for it. And then others will have this lip, which mine does. That's the one for it. So, uh, I, sh I should have commented, but I'm sure somebody else already has, so... Um, anyone else that's planning on uh, getting uh, an adapter for theirs, make sure that you get the one for it. Make sure you check for that little ring. That little uh, ring that pops up, if it sinks in, that ain't the right one. Don't, don't get that one. Go try to modify it. You know, I think that guy tried to modify his. I don't know, it's weird, but don't modify it, you know, 
get the right one for it, you know, and you'd be, you'd be golden. So, uh, let me go ahead and, um, get back to you guys in just a second. And, uh, hopefully I'll have some stuff done. <laughs> and I'm back. So, it's been a couple days. And let me show you what I got done here. Da, 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 da. Okay. So, I got the scope mounted on there. Had to uh, put on some uh, risers and uh, a riser uh, scope mount uh, rings. Uh, let's see, put on um, the light, which, uh, let's see, I've been having problems getting this thing to stay, but let's see, oh yeah, there we go, yeah, that's working fine, and then moving on down here, I got the brake barrel, yeah, pretty nice, I have to admit, pretty nice. Um, I, I have, uh, the tank is completely empty. I emptied it out and, um, the, uh, pressure gauge, I unscrewed that. I screwed it back in just a little bit, you know, just so nothing crawls up in there like a, <laughs> a spider, <laughs> you know, so I went ahead and, uh, screwed that back in um, on the first I'll be ordering another one um, I had to make sure that this here will work and uh, yes yes it does works just fine um, and yeah I do have the fill probe so got that as well so uh, everything is looking really good on it and this one here is the uh, the FX impact m3 I know that they came out with an m4 now you know quite frankly I <laughs> kind of like my m3 you know I really do so let me fix this here and I made a cover for this one, but I need to modify it because I put that on there. So it gave it a little bit of extra length. Um, and put the scope on, which uh, raised it up a little bit. So got to modify this. I already got the material uh, cut and ready to go. And then I got this guy right here. Super sweet, super sweet. So, yeah, um, and of course I got these uh, 30 cal uh, slugs here. Boy, they really package these things in there pretty good. <laughs> Let me uh, try to open this up real quick. Oh boy, that's really tight. There we go. There we are. Not bad, not bad. 200 count. Got two boxes of them. Figured, eh, not bad. So, anyhow, I want to uh, show you guys what I've done here and, and the progress and all that. So, there we go. And I think that'll conclude this video on the Hot Sun Blitz. Um, I will be doing more videos on it, um, especially when I get that, uh, pressure gauge. So, yep, uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll be talking to you guys really soon.